you. I needed to get back into the gallery, but a familiar figure was guarding the door. Ooh. It was Sergeant Mouth. Our paths had crossed before. Sergeant Mouth. Yeah, that was the first game. Possibly the second. Like I said, I can't remember the second as much as the first. Sergeant Mu. Sergeant Mu, we meet again. Aha, Madame Cola. An unexpected pleasure. I was in the gallery at the time of the theft. Can I get back in? I am sorry, but I am under strict orders from Inspector Nave. Uh, nobody in, uh, nobody out. And... I must correct you, madame. It is no longer just a theft. It is a murder. A murder. Mon dieu! That poor man! <laughs> a murder. <laughs> right, go with. I witnessed the crime. I've got to get back in there. I'm sure you can make an official statement in good time. I saw the thief. I think I can help the investigation. I am implacable, madame Gola. Oh, he's been tight since so he's not going to let him say. Right, Nave. Who is Inspector Nave? Yeah, this inspector's ah, different the from the first one. The most promising young investigator on the force. A genius. A man blessed with almost superhuman insight. He sounds highly perspicacious. Madame, it is not for us to talk about the inspector's sweaty proclivities. He is about to solve his third case in as many days. So, what's he got that the other investigators don't have? Blood spatter. He is the world expert. He reads the entrails of the crime scene like a book. See, Sergeant Moose said that about the inspector in the first game as well. So, he must think highly of all the... All, think highly of all his inspectors. I will get me reads out eventually. <laughs> I really need to get into the gallery and speak to Inspector Nave. Tut tut, he is not to be disturbed. <laughs> tut tut. He is applying his famous scientific methods. Any moment now, the case will be cracked. I certainly hope so. I am dog tired and want to go home. Okay, dog tired, are you? Eh? Why are you so tired, Sergeant Mu? I have been working for three days with no rest. Nave is a genius in his field, and he assumes that we all have his energy and vigor. Oh, you poor man. If you'd like to go and get some sleep, I will watch the door for you. That's very thoughtful of you. Ha! A cunning attempt to make me a deserter, madame. <laughs> a gendarme never leaves his post. Gendarme. Well, how about a hot drink? Ah, that would do the trick for sure. Unfortunately, I mustn't drink on duty. My doctor specifically warned me against it after the last uh, incident. Incident? Incident? Uh, ooh, incident? That incident you mentioned, what happened exactly? I don't want to talk about it. All I can say is it was very unfortunate. I am on duty and I need to focus. <laughs> Crying like a dog. <laughs> I chased after the shooter and got a photo of him. Inspector Nave will be delighted. You've got to let me into the gallery to show him. Absolutely not. What? So I cannot go in without Inspector Nave's permission? No. And to get Inspector Nave's permission, I need to go in. Exactly. Have you ever heard of Kafka, Sergeant Mu? Madame Gola, I do not see what soccer players have to do with this. <laughs> no, he's a. Never mind. This was Never madness. mind. Sergeant Mu wasn't going to let me in. Sergeant Mu. Here's my press card. Do you have a statement for the paper? Yes, madame. Stay away from the crime scene and let the police do their job. And always leave a light on when you go out at night. Thanks a lot, Sergeant Mu. You've been so helpful. <laughs> oh, he's a legend, Sergeant Mu. Um, so, we need to get him off the door. 
And I think uh, coffee the body next door. Was still in there. I had to get back inside. Right, let's go get Sergeant Move a drink. Hey, oh, mind you. No. Ah, phone. Can I phone George? Hi, George. I'm outside the gallery. Inspector Moore is out here, and he's not letting me in. I managed to grab a couple of photos, but the guy got away. I know. Why kill him? So, no ordinary robbery. When to get back in there. So he's not giving up, is he? Right, window. An intricate stained glass window. Irresistible to any tourist. Well, yeah. But well, can't we go that way? That's it. Walk over. Here we go, look. Madame. One coffee? Madame. Bonjour, monsieur. Whatever it is you want, we are closed. Then Maybe. why are you standing here? You would not understand, madame. Try me. Because I look at you, and I know you are like all the others. The others? The pretty women who shop, who gossip, who have their spa days, their almond croissant. <laughs> that bad, huh? <laughs> and the men with their grooming products and their shiny shoes, and a skinny suit who come to my cafe and ask me for lattes, macchiatos, frappe. I see your frappe. point. Is this what we fought on the barricades for, madame? Ripped up the paving slabs, bled on the streets. Isn't it? No, madame, it is not. We fought for ideas, for philosophy, for freedom, equality, fraternity. Vive la revolution. And do you know what drove us on as we fought? What fueled the streets of Paris in that glorious spring? What made our hearts soar? Uh, cheap wine and free sex? Free sex? No, madame, no! It was <laughs> French Café Noir that inspired us. The simple delitas. The black, sweet taste of freedom. So that's why you closed? Yes, madame. I serve only thinkers. Philosophers, revolutionaries, and you, madame, with your polite top and your pointy ears, and none of those things. <laughs> polite Is this top. a cafe? Yes. Is he on me? To the right people. On any other day, I would have given this guy a straight one to the chin. <laughs> but there was a chance he could help me get into the gallery. He can. Sergeant Moose, this. Monsieur. Life is fleeting, madame. The sands of time are running through your fingers. Well, that may be, but... We know not what we want, and yet we are responsible for what we are. There's been a crime. That is terrible, madame. But you know what they say? No, but I think you're going to tell me. Yeah. Life begins on the other side of despair. C'est vrai, no? Well, I guess so. He was pushing me to the point of despair. <laughs> During the riots, we battled the forces of oppression. Oh, really? That must have been terrifying. It was. Except that they made me Just pour the goddamn drink. With the other baristas. We made coffee by the liter to fuel the resistance. I've never brewed so Man, much coffee. Never shut up, does he? Of course, our brave heroes spent half their time going for a pee. But with our coffee inside them, they fought the running dogs all night long. None of this was helping me get past Sajan Mou. No. Au no. revoir. Right, so if I show him my card, will that do anything? Here's my press card. 
la liberté. Madame, you are not the person that I took you to be. You must accept my deepest, my most profound apologies. Nah. Well, of course I accept. But why? La liberté. The great journal of freedom. At the height of the battle, as the tear gas blew and the blood flowed, it was La Liberté which carried the voice of our revolution to the world. I know now that you are not the kind of woman who would ask me for almond croissant. You are a true daughter of France, and I am your humble servant. Well, get and make the goddamn drink then. Monsieur. The road to enlightenment is a long one, madame. Perhaps you will walk that road with me? So, uh, Could we have a little chat? Any time, madame. Here we go, coffee. Right, so, gallery. Did you see anything happen at the gallery earlier? I saw you running after a pizza delivery guy. Somebody said he killed someone. That's true. He stole a painting and shot the gallery owner. How close we are to death, and yet how far from ever comprehending it. Mm, well, right now I need to get back inside and figure out what happened. I applaud you, madame. To seek the truth is a worthy ambition. As a journalist, that is my duty. Right, uh, coffee. How about some coffee? For you, madame, of course. Thank you. There is only one coffee that I can serve you. Black. Strong, and in a tiny cup. Not there. One moment. That'll get Sergeant Moo off the door, won't it? Here is your coffee, madame. Thank you. Thank you, monsieur. What are you drinking it for? What have you done? Nico? Do you mind give that to Sergeant Moo? The coffee was hot and strong. Ah, take away coffee. Would you make me a coffee to go? For a fellow revolutionary? Of course, madame. One moment. On up. Chop, chop. As far as you sell anything, the amount of talking you do. Here's your takeaway coffee, madame. Oh, Thank lovely. you, monsieur. There we go. Salut. Salut. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, madame. Madame. Sergeant Mou, I brought you a coffee. Coffee? Fantastic. Just what I need. Here but we go. wait. I must not. My little p p p problem. I'm sure one little cup of coffee won't hurt. No, not at all. I'm tempted, madame, but I cannot risk it. I am sorry. So, this incident, it involved you, some coffee, and your... A little problem? It is a tale of woe, madame. I'm all ears, sergeant. Well, since you seem quite understanding, I shall elaborate. Please do. I was in charge of canine security for the president himself. Uh, one day, on vacances, he went for a private discussion with a lady minister. I stayed alone with his dog, but I had drunk a coffee to stay awake, and nature came to call. So I tied the dog to a tree and went for a secret pee-pee. <laughs> when I came back, the dog was having a <laughs> liaison dangereux with the lady minister's terrier. <laughs> but how did they find out? Well, two months later, the President's Labrador gave birth to six beautiful mongrels. And I was busted to sergeant just after the President's divorce came through. You hmm. are a victim of a great injustice, sergeant. You think so? But of course. You knew you must not fall asleep at your post. You were guarding the President himself. Well, that's it. The president's dog. Doesn't matter. Ah, it was the same to me. Exactly. Yes, I suppose. 
And by drinking that coffee, you made the ultimate sacrifice for our glorious republic, your career. Mm. How you put it like that? <laughs> and now France is calling you again. She is saying, drink, Sergeant Mu, drink. <laughs> she is? Yeah. <laughs> she is. Drink or fall asleep at your post. Which is it to be? I suppose it is drink. Good lad. Bravo, Sergeant. Get it down, yeah. There we go. There we need a pee now, don't we? Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Excuse me, madame. I must use the petit gendarme's room. It has gone straight through me. <laughs> Could you watch the gallery door for me? Oh, you can count on me, Sergeant. Let's <laughs> get into the piss wall. I distracted Mu. It was now or never. <laughs> Here we go. How did you get past Sergeant Mu? Huh. Well, you won't fool me so easily, Madame. I shall question you later. Nico, am I glad to see you. So, what's the problem? The inspector's watching me like a hawk. I'll never get in without some sort of distraction. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Distraction, distraction, distraction. Let's talk to him. See if we can distract him. Inspector Nave, do you have a moment? My time is of the essence. Be quick now. Be quick now. I suppose this is quite a complex case, Inspector. It is a robbery gone bad. Nothing more, nothing less. Surely there's a bit more to it than that. Please oh, George, abstain go from in now. baseless conjecture, madame. The victim's body paints a simple picture, more reliable than any witness statement. Consider the impact of the bullet and note the concomitant lack of blood. A casual homicide. Nothing more. Right, okay, sabotage uh, the la maldicio. Don't you find it odd that the thief chose that one particular painting? A right weird nose, honey. <laughs> Life is full of odd things, madame. Fingerless gloves, white dog poo poo, nasal hair. White dog poo poo? I prefer to concern myself with murder. Man, that was everywhere as a child. You don't really see white dog poo anymore. <laughs> Did you see the alarm was sabotaged? I have interrogated the crime scene, madame. I am fully aware of the disabled security. I prefer biological evidence to the merely circumstantial. Body parts, blood. Important things. Don't you think the disabled alarm is highly suspicious, though? The forensic team will be along shortly. Voice your concerns to them. Do not bother me with this circumstantial flifflaf. 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 Why don't you check out the security camera footage? Madame, that is not my area of expertise. Mm, it is the body which concerns me. But the CCTV footage is evidence. It could help identify the killer. Correction, Correct. madame. Him, it is but an indicator. The only true evidence is bodily fluid. <laughs> Unless you know something I don't, then please leave me be. The only evidence Inspector Nave seemed to appreciate involved gore. Gore. Uh, right, George. What do you think about the American, George? He's highly suspicious, isn't he? He is deeply suspicious. Yeah, I thought that. Sus. He's sus. Could you give me a statement, Inspector? Now is not the time, Madame. Thanks, Inspector. I'll let you know if I remember anything else. So... If I was going to distract Nave, I needed to unearth new evidence or concoct some. And the bloodier, the better. The bloodier, the better. I wasn't going to get anything useful from Lane. No, so 
plan B, we need to do something else. Father, do we speak to the father? Bust. The bust was striking. Striking. Striking more. It was a very attractive piece. Alright, oh, okay. Uh, CCTV a camera. CCTV camera watched over the room. We must ask the question, Father. Come on, Father. Excuse me, Father. Father Simeon, my child. Are you okay, Father? It's a terrible shock, but yes, I'm fine, thank you. Could I ask you some questions about the crime? What kind of questions? I'm a reporter for La Liberté. I suppose it cannot hurt. Please ask away. Ask away. Right, okay, so who are you? Why did you come to the gallery today, Father? God brought me here. I saw the poster for the exhibition. I had to come. What mm. do you mean? I knew there was great evil in La Maledicfio. It was my duty to confront it. The painter was El Serp, the serpent, don't you see? Evil? So what were you planning on doing here today? I wanted to bear witness to anything that the devil would conjure. Well, I think it was a no-show, Father. <laughs> really? A man is dead, Miss Collard. I'd say his work here today is done. That wasn't going to help my story. <laughs> Did you see anything devil. that might help identify the killer? The devil takes many forms, child. I didn't get a good enough look, I'm afraid. Anything would help. We got a tattoo I'm on sorry, my dear. I my that. mind was elsewhere. Useless. What do you know about Henri? An innocent victim. In so far as any of us are innocent. If he was peddling such blasphemous works as the Elsa painting, then who knows what other sins he was hiding. Father Simeon was making me feel guilty. Priests always did that to me. <laughs> what can you tell He's me about He's not giving us any useful information, is he? and evil. How can a painting be evil? By killing all who come into contact with it. Does that mean we're next? Laugh not at the devil's play, Miss Collard. Man, I'm sick of hearing it. Do you know anything about the painter, El Serp? He was a purveyor of blasphemy, a servant of the Antichrist. How can you know that? It is clear from his work. Father Simeon was making a lot of assumptions. Father Simeon's doing me bloody tree This is my press card. As I said, I work for La Liberté. Good. Be sure to warn your readers that this painting is evil. Thank you for your time, Father. Yes, thank you, Father. The priest had nothing useful to offer. No, definitely not. Useless. Uh, pizza box. Oh, oh, hang on. Tomato stain. Here we go. The tomato sauce had splattered on the floor. What's it got on it? Jungle. No Jungle. way was I going to clean that up with my bare hands. I spread some of this sauce around with my shoe. It looked a little bit like a blood stain, but it still wasn't right. If I was going to distract the cop, I had to get rid of that gum. Uh, get rid of the gum then? No way was I going to clean that up with my bare So what do we need? What? Card. <laughs> Scraped off with the card. That wasn't worth trying. Why not? Dico, you're being bloody funny. What's up with you? Hmm. No, Thanks, okay, Inspector. So. I'll let you know if I remember anything else. So that's done absolutely nothing. Pizza box, done the pizza box. Tomato stain, we need. We need a piece of paper or a rag. So you're not going to touch the bloody chewing gum mark. What have we got? Come on, 
What have we got? Jim no got. way was I going to clean that up with my bare hand. So, like I say, you just got to scrape it up. I scraped up the chewing gum with my press card, hoping the inspector would I did that the first it. time. Why did that not work the first time? <laughs> there we go. Now look, because there's no chewing gum in it. It's Inspector. Blood. It's a blood stain. Yes? Blood stain. Have you seen the stain on the floor over there? It looks like blood. Indeed. How very curious. Oh, because it's taken chewing gum out of it. Before <laughs> one of these idiots steps in it. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Maybe it is time to employ the machine. The machine. Right, go, George, go. Okay, George, that should distract him for a while. Nice work, Nico. We're in. I'll let you know what I find in the office. <laughs>